How do you drown out the noise? Let's find out. Let's go. Some of you are tired today because you've tossed and turned all night, anticipating what could possibly happen today, and you've allowed things that are out of your control to deprive you of your peace. You've laid there in bed, eyes wide open, worrying about problems, conversations, and interactions that haven't even happened yet. Then there are those of you who went to bed with the events from earlier in the day still on your mind. You thought about what you could have said or should have said or should have done, failing to realize that it no longer matters. You can't correct what was or what wasn't done. And then there are those of you who are all bent out of shape because of gossip, lies, malicious talk, and trifling people who mean you no good. You're chasing something you would never catch, a lie trying to correct something you can never correct a lie hoping to convince people of believing the truth when they've already formed their own opinions based on a lie if only you put that time and that energy into what's important to you and what's more important than you you see every battle isn't meant for you to fight every game isn't meant for you to play Every argument isn't meant for you to win. Every problem isn't meant for you to solve. And every lie isn't meant for you to drown in truth. You must learn what is meant for you to entertain. I'm learning there's going to be noise. Noise that is meant to distract. Noise that is meant to delay. And sadly for some, noise that is meant to stop. Noise spoken by people who are broken and want to break you. Noise created by the enemy to stop you from reaching your destination. Noise created to drain you of your power. There's always going to be noise, but you don't have to stop and listen. You have to discern what is there to help you and what is meant to hurt you. This may mean letting people go and keeping quiet in moments where you want to speak. It may mean allowing people to think that they're right when you know they're wrong. For things that have happened you wished you didn't, you must learn to forgive yourself for not handling it the right way the first time. You must learn to forgive those who have hurt you. For the things that haven't happened, you must learn to place those things in the only hands that is big enough to hold them. That's God's hands. You must learn to prepare yourself for the unexpected and to handle whatever comes from the unexpected. What I know for sure is everything doesn't deserve your attention, so you shouldn't give it. Stop allowing your past to cripple you in your present and paralyzing you from walking into your future. Y'all have a great day.